everybody this is Amy thanks so much for visiting my channel today I'm going to show you how I created the several layer petal flower it's just kind of a made-up flower so that's what I'm calling it because of how many layers of petals it actually takes to create it so we're going to go ahead and get started I will be using a number 12 flat brush these are plot one stroke brushes and number 10 actually probably some of my favorite brushes uh, they have good life uh, as far as uh, the length of life that a brush can have they actually are good for the price and then a stylist dotting tool color of paint that I'm using all folk art paint some are enamels some are multi-surface using berry wine fresh foliage Vintage White, Thicket, and then School Bus Yellow. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to be starting with the Vintage White and the Berry Wine are going to be what the flower is created from. Or flowers, I should say. So I'm loading, double loading my brush and just trying to get it good and full. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to start, and I'm sorry, I'm left-handed, so sometimes it's hard for you to see what I'm doing. I'm doing a couple little swipes here, which are blending strokes. And there's basically, in this, stroke that I'm doing, there's basically three hops, meaning that I'm going like one, two, three. Alright, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to turn it here and do the same thing. One, two, three. They don't, I'm not intending them to be the same height. And actually, like this one is probably too much of the same level. I'm going like that. But really, once you get going with this flower, it really doesn't matter. Because you're going to be covering a lot of it up. And then we're going to do one final on this lower bunch of petals. And then we're going to start on the next next one. Okay, and I'm staying within the, the actual petal that I did. I'm not trying to overlap so that it's going in between petals. I'm actually doing it right over the top of the strokes that I did before. So like say on this one, I'm just going to go up and up and then down. Because I want the lower level to be shown or each level as I'm going, I want it to I want you to see the previous level below it and then continue to keep stroking. Hope that makes sense. Higher one and then a lower one. And we're going to come over here and do a higher one or a lower one. Sorry, and then a higher one and come back. And then come here, higher one, then a lower one. All right, and then we're coming back. Starting again. Now, if you want, you can switch your brushes. I just am sticking with the same brush. I'm not going with a smaller one. Just making your strokes so that they don't completely cover up the, the petals below. You just have to watch that. If you feel that you don't have enough control to do that, then by all means switch to something smaller. And I'm just going to keep doing this. 
and you'll just have to judge how many layers you need. I'm not going to give you a specific count because I did some earlier and I didn't have as many layers as I did when I was practicing a little bit ago. So, just so you know. Okay, then we're back to the top again. And we're just going to make you know small again. And the colors I'm using, obviously you don't have to use those if it's a different set of colors you want to put together. By all means, have at it. And there might be a flower out here that this represents, but it's really nothing that I'm aware of. Do you see how pretty that is? I really like it. Now, at this point, you know, because you are changing the size and all, you can continue to do this, which I'm going to, because I want it to be a little bit smaller in the center. But what I'm doing at this point is not actually doing the same type of stroke. I'm just going around and doing a regular, um, I don't even know how to, how to reference it, you know, just going like this and just continue to go around until I get the center the way I want it. So I'm not doing like the different levels of strokes, just doing it like that. Now, you can stop at that or you can keep working on it. For the purpose of this video, I don't want it to be 12 hours long, so I'm going to cut it there and come down here and do another one. Now keep in mind, I do just use these faces for the purpose of creating the videos. So I try to get them cleaned off as best I can, but sometimes there is some old paint left over, so I apologize if you see that. And you also can clean your, clean your brush if you feel like you need to, to get more of the whiter look but it's not a pure white it's a vintage white okay. I hope you're catching this the stroke now that's the thing now this is stroke work so I'm going like that going up and then coming down but I just keep doing it I don't really stop in between but I'm stopping to show you so you can see how it's done. And this gives a nice roughly edge to your flower. And I'm going to finish this lower level, the lower part of the flower right here. Come back to the beginning point of the flower. Petals and keep doing like what I did before. And then just keep turning it. For the purpose of the video, I am just doing the front part of the base. I am not doing all around it. If I were to be, it's not actually, it's a candle holder. Um, I'm not actually painting this to keep the design on. I'm using it for the purpose of the video. So I will be wiping this off. If I were creating it for a piece to either sell or give away, I would do it all around. I think the piece would be very pretty with a candle in it, with a beautiful design painted on it. I mean, it definitely would. And then we're going to go here and do another one. Again, keep in mind, you can switch brush sizes. 
you don't have to stick with the one size like I'm doing. I just don't want to be stopping and starting and cleaning out brushes during the video. Try to avoid that as much as possible. Just nice easy strokes. If you're looking for something to help you relax, I really think between like the doodle drawing, the tangle or whatever you want to call it, is awesome and painting can be very relaxing as well. I mean it all just can be beautiful and make great gifts on top of giving you something to like a hobby to help you relax from your everyday normal craziness. I think we all have a little bit of that in our lives or a lot of it. <laughs> just depends on what day it is, right? But I really like all these layers. For one thing, keep in mind when you have a lot of layering going on makes your design more durable. Because the more layers you have, it means your paint's thicker. Now when you're dealing with, you know, something like this, that may not be as, oh, as important as it would be if you were doing drinking glasses. Might need to put a little bit more on there. Actually, I think I'm going to clean my brush out a little bit. I just said that, and then it's like, you know what? some of this paint out. Get a little bit more of this berry wine on here. Just to keep it going. I don't know, for some reason, I don't have any flow medium, so for some reason my paint seems to want to gunk up on me. It could be its age, too. I don't know. I'm back to doing like the smaller, this is a, li a little bit smaller flower than what the first one was. Let's see, I'm just kind of doing little swoops there in the center. I mean, you can make the inside smaller and smaller and smaller and just keep going with it if you want. I'm just, I'm not doing that on this video. I'm just trying to make it like that. All right, then to do, I'm going to throw in a couple, I want to say buds, I guess is what I'm looking at them as. All right, so basically it's going to be the same design as what you were doing. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go up like that and down. And do the same over here. And just end it like that. Really, <clears throat> excuse me, rather simple. Nothing, uh, I just got to keep in mind, I, I want to touch the other side on to the paper below. And something I like to try to mention as much as I can is if you are right-handed, you'll notice I'm a lefty, you may have to start your designs the opposite direction from what, how I'm painting them. So if you're feeling a little frustrated trying to do the designs the way I'm doing them, just know that's very common. And if you need to switch it around a little bit, feel free to do so. With the centers of these open flowers, I'm going to take my stylus right now. And on this, I'm just choosing to do a lot of little dots on the inside. Again, nothing difficult about this. Very simple. You can do, stick with just the yellow, or you can add a twist and put in other colors, you know, load, and maybe another 
uh, maybe white or green, whatever you how, whatever you want to do as another color. I am just going to leave it with the yellow. So I think the yellow is fine. I might put a few more in the center here. I'm just doing some careful dotting like that, which I think is fine. I like that pretty easy, right? That's my goal. My goal is to make easy designs for people to be able to paint. And I hope that works. Now for the leaves that I'm going to be painting right now, I am using the thicket and the fresh foliage and touching my brush into the vintage white. I like the combination here. Alright, so for these little buds, what I'm going to do is just do my, my common little tap. Get them hooked in here. I am just basically just tapping on it. I'm not trying to do any kind of a shape or whatnot. Just doing my basic tapping. You can turn it around if you feel like you want to get more, you know, have more than one color in it. Definitely. And then come back over here and do the same. Now with doing a vase, if I had been doing this on paper, which is what I initially do, it's more of a, you know, viney kind of, not viney, but bushy, oh, I'm trying to think, tree-like kind of design in a sense that, you know, it's a, it's a bunch of flowers. It's not just a few. You know, I have basically the same amount of flowers here, but I have more room to put a stem and put stems on the other, you know, all the flowers and whatnot and to kind of tie them together as if they're just like a bundle. I guess is probably the proper way to say it. So just keep that in mind. Now like for this one, I could have probably had it hanging upside down, which probably would have made more sense. But you can do it. Do it how, however you choose. You know, sometimes you do things and then you think, oh, I think it would have been better like this. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to do this kind of a, like that. And then I'm going to go like this and do just a little touch to it. And then just keep doing, these are just a little, little different type of, of a uh, leaf. Alright. I mean, you can do as many, as few, as you want. If you don't care for this type of a leaf, that's fine. Then do another one. You know, you can do other ones, just whatever you choose. I just thought this would be a little different. Something different than what I normally do. Alright, so we're getting towards the end. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. And those comments go below. If you're new to my channel, Make sure you take a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I'm posting something new. That's real important. And the last thing I'd like to request is that you hit the share button underneath this video to share it with all your friends. 
and family, your social network. I would really appreciate that. Okay, so now this I'm just going to do just a real kind of a fun squiggly little leaf. And I don't really want it over into this flower too much. But it's okay, you know, if you do like that. And I'll do that with the others. Okay, like I said, it's just a little bit of a different, kind of a skinnier leaf and a wigglier, because it's going over into that flower as well, which is true to, to nature. Or if you're putting together a, um, you know, a bunch of uh, a floral design of some sort, I mean, that would be true to it, right? I'm getting, I get, keep getting globs of paint on my brush. And, you know, if you want to time in, go ahead and just do some little strokes like that. And then I'm going to do the same here. Just this little squiggly, just kind of wiggly. Not too wiggly, but like that. And then pull it in. Then, just to finish it off, if you want to do just your regular Alrighty. almost finished here and these are just kind of my go-to filler leaves and I'm just putting like light little little stems or vines whatever you want to call them or consider them and I could just keep going on and on and on <clears throat> and I typically do like I said I probably scare people with the amount of leaves I put on things but I really do like them. And I'll just so my brush. I'm ordered some new brushes. I cannot wait to get them. I just really like them to be nice and thin and firm. I don't even know how to describe it, but when they get to where they're not flat anymore, they're not truly flat brushes, then it makes them kind of hard to paint with. Or not get as crisp as crisp of a design that I like to get. Alright, so I'm putting those on there. And you can keep going with it. Like I said, I think you get the gist of it. Anyways, I hope you like this. Again, it's just a fun, fun flower. I can even tie these together. Like I was saying before, just noticing the kind of like they're hanging there. But anyhow, um, let's go like that. I'm not going to put a leaf there. I'm just going to leave it leave it be. But I think they're pretty. I like how they t how it turned out. Once again, if you like this, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And I am going to let you go for now. Until the next time, I hope I see you. But you have a good one. <laughs>